Ecology Forum when he was attacked. He says at least eight men grabbed him when he got out of his car and started beating him, then left him on the roadside, unconscious and covered in blood. Doctors say he has a fractured skull, but Shamisa says he won't give up the fight. It means that we have to die. I obviously have extraordinary admiration for the courage, the tenacity that the Prime Minister has shown in navigating through some very difficult political times in Zimbabwe. Now, a democratic Zimbabwe is not going to be built by another undemocratic process. Now, continuation of ZANU-PF policies and the ZANU-PF's character and the culture must end. Yeah, the violence, yeah, the human rights abuses, yeah, the violence that the Constitution must stop. When we vote, we stay at the polls. When we vote, we defend our vote. When we vote, we celebrate our victory. He, he never spent a day thinking about himself. He would always worry about others. We are ready to lead, we are ready to govern, we are ready for a new Zimbabwe. Mr.